Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'd like to talk to you about opening files using ScanFMC. Now, you can't open files actually using ScanFMC. What ScanF is, is a scanned format string reader. It, re it reads uh, input from the uh, standard in I.O. stream, which is a, a file handle that gets opened up automatically when your C program opens in you know, most operating systems like Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. And it just reads input from that. Um, so you can't open files. It has no file opening capability whatsoever. It only reads. However, you can uh, kind of do it by redirecting or um, a, an input file into your program at startup. For instance, I've got here a, a command line that has a, if I did have a program called program.exe and if I wanted scanf to read it, I could redirect using the redirect symbol of a file of text in it and it would read it. And then, uh, like the documentation here on the wiki says, right here, scanf, it would read the file in from the, uh, the file that you redirected at the command line. And in a sense, it would be kind of opening the file in C, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't do that. <coughs> now, another thing to, to know about the, the scanf function, it's not considered a safe function. For instance, if you had a scanf like this, you had a, a, the uh, format string says you're going to do a, a digit or a decimal, excuse me, here. Um, and uh, you're going to scan it in and you're going to put it into n here, which is an int. Well, that will work, but if you, if you load something that's bigger than that, you're going to overrun that integer. And if, if that was a string, say you had a string and you said it was a string of characters 10 long and your input was 11 long, long or longer, you'd get a buffer overrun and that's a major security problem in old software. So you really don't want to use scanf if you can get away with it. It's just not a very safe function. However, there is the, the fgets function and out in Wikipedia it's got information on this too. And it has this count parameter right here that allows you to specify exactly how many characters you want to read in. So you can prevent those buffer overruns, um, and you have, have to do a little bit more work because it's going to read in just a string of characters, and you'll have to format it internally. But there's other C functions that will allow you to do that. So uh, you should be able to handle it uh, you know, correctly using the fgets and a little more programming effort, but you'll have a safe program. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about opening files using scanf and C. Thanks for watching.